fortunate and unfortunate. The seven could have stood, but she at least knocks that out so she can shoot the spear. That's the one where you throw it just a little bit hard. You throw it past the hook spot. Just a little bit fast. The velocity did not allow this ball to turn. Threw it by the pocket. There, she rolled that spare ball. Do you see it flip yeah, over? Right. That's when you roll it, it flips over. When you throw it, it skids. Exactly. That's not the lane condition. That's the bowler. Right. A little bit of difference in a release and a roll can make a huge difference down the lane. But it's so easy for us, Jan, to blame the lanes all the time. I mean, that's one of my pet peeves. Wah, 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 wah. You know, well, don't complain about the lanes. Learn how to play those lanes. That's what great players do. Nice ma match play record there, 21 and 11. Carol wants to say hello to Neil, her husband, new husband, and she doesn't get to see him very often. That's a long-distance marriage right now, but, you know, when you're as great as she is, you got to get over here get this American cash, take it back to Australia, <laughs> so she can be in her boat and do a little water ski and, and practice 60, 70 games a week. There's that lesson, making that 10 jam. You see, she broke her wrist. She went to a ball that was shinier. She flattened it out and just threw a straight ball right on that 10 pin. You do not need uh, the, the big revolutions and hook and roll to make a one pin spare. You got to touch it with the ball. Right. Carol Giannotti does that well. Henry Dugan does that now. Robin Romeo has always done that. One of the first ones on tour to flatten the ball out. Kim Adler's now doing it. This shot, she just froze that right in the pocket. It was high off of her hand, and the ball just froze in the pocket. That's the instinct that great players have. She just came straight up through that shot. Instead of turning and rotating the finger, she just comes straight up through it, threw it right dead on line, and froze it right in the pocket. She leads by 22 right now. She needs to just keep converting those spares. That's how she went right at that. Watch this shot coming off her hand now. She's inside her target. She opens that thumb, and she rotates back to the bottom. Now, when she gets inside of her target, her instinct just comes straight up through it. Watch her. She just comes straight up through. She quit rotating, just went straight up through. 22 pins. They're both working on a spare. That was a strike shot there in the seventh. Let's see what she can do here in the eighth. Oh, that ball deflected a lot. No drive at all on that. You know, she went high two frames back, and you can see that now she's flattened out her hand a little bit, and she's overdone it. So now the ball gets to the pocket here. It has no hook. There's no rotation. So too much rotation's poor, not enough rotation's poor. You've got to have that little one-and-a-half inch to two-inch rotation right when the ball passes your ankle. Goes for it, but she's just opened the door for Carol Giannotti block here. Now we have an 11 pin match here. The game is on. We have three frames left for Carol. We have two left for Wendy. It's an 11 pin match. Actually, it's only nine pins right now, Fred. It, it's tight. Oh, excuse me, it is nine. Yeah, my addition is a little suspect, Jan. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, nine and 11, big difference yeah, here yeah. because you can double somewhere to pick up 10 pins. And Carol sure. jumped right on that mistake by Wendy. Or unfortunate break, too. Wendy didn't have to leave that split. Watch how clean this release is. Just comes rolling right off her hand. That's the deal. And the swing goes through, and she just caught that nice rotation. Just the perfect amount of rotation, about an inch and a half finger rotation right when the thumb drops out of the ball. You can see the scoreboard there. If she strikes here, she'll actually take a one-pin lead. Oh. And up high. Fortunate to leave just the spare she can hopefully convert here. No split. As you can see, there's no room for air out there. She tugged that a little bit. It went high. She turned a little early, tugged on a little bit, and went right through the nose. Converts it nice. It's not always an easy spare. You would think it is, but... Again, she killed that ball, and that ball went straight. So what makes us miss that, Jen, is when we hook it, and then we chop the six right off the ten. So you actually like to fade the ball, and even a little backup isn't bad on that spare. Wendy still leads by nine pins. She could get up here and shut out Carol Giannotti. The setup frame. Hey, 
Boy, she's just back and forth here, high and then light. High That's and then natural light. after a 5 7, Jan, is at the bottom of the swing. The thumb drops. Get those fingers. Watch this shot now, see when the thumb drops, and she's going to snap load the fingers and hit the fingers real hard. She'd snap it now, grab a hold of them fingers. I'm not leaving another 5 7. Now she'll catch the one in between in the tenth and, and, and throw a flush strike. Does she get off that little quick? Oh, oh, she hooked it at that spare. Got off of a little quick, laid it down, and rolled it, chopped that spare. Oh. There it is. Just laid it down a little fast. See, it just dropped it right at the foul line. Now the ball's rolling. Now it's starting to turn. Chop that. That's why we need to throw the ball straight on spares. We do not need hook to make it go spares. Okay, we just turned the match around here. She, Wendy now trails by two pins. She cannot shut Carol Giannotti block out. If she strikes out, Carol will have to double. Oh, yeah. Big break on the Brooklyn side. Thank you, Lord. Hold it over. She trips the six out. We're talking about the trip four. Look here. Now we're talking about trip sixes. I think this ball, I think she'll get the ball to the right this time. Just a double here to force Carol to get nine. Force her to double nine. On her fill shot after a double. Right, yeah. Exactly. Okay, if she spares here, pin count is going to be important for Carol on the first shot. Well, those two she'll pins I was trying to give away were important, weren't they? <laughs> Big. Final score of 205 for Wendy McPherson Picanos. Carol Giannotti could strike up for 217. She goes nine strikes. She's got 206. Nine so this first strike. shot, yeah, she got a good nine spare strike for 206. This first shot, big time shot. She does exactly that. Nine. nine. She needs the spare and a strike. Spare nine, we could have a tie. Have a little roll off there, maybe get any better than this, does it? Right down to the last ball. Could make this spare. Look at her eyes. She's focused right up. Didn't see how fast she got up there? She didn't give herself a chance to think very much. A lot of times when we need a key shot in a key situation, we stand there too long, we talk ourselves into overthinking and we miss it. She just grabbed the ball off the rack, got up and went through the motion. She's made the seven, ten, a hundred times. Okay, I have to set this up now if Carol strikes. She is the winner. Nine, it's a tie, anything less. Wendy McPherson Papanos would be our champion. Oh, my. Oh. A 5 7. Look at, that. Look at that shot. Wendy you McPherson Papanos is the champion. What a match. They both had 5 7s. That was the key shot. For Wendy when she opens in the eighth. Look at this. Look at this shot. I don't think either one can believe it. Wendy's watching Carol's shot right here. She Good. thinks, oh my God, it's in the pocket. I lose. It. No, I win. Look at this. I cannot believe it. Look at this. Well, we'll be back to crown Wendy McPherson Papanos, our champion. Boy, it was a close one. Be back right after this.